Hey guys, uh, this is uh, Red Rider sixty nine. Um, you'll probably know me as the um, one of the users here at the Call of Duty World of War. Um, <laughs> I don't even know the full name now anymore, do I? Call of Duty World of War PC Zombies Matchmaking uh, Server. Uh, so r right now, I'm just gonna go ahead and show you um, just how exactly you go about just installing a custom map uh, for Call of Duty World of War because the process to do it is actually quite simple. Uh, it's not complicated at all. And um, yeah, it, it's just not that complicated. Uh, and it's quite safe. I've done it myself multiple times. I've even done it on stream. So if you have any concerns, just let me know and I'll go ahead and try to do whatever I can to kind of like reassure you that everything's gonna be all right. And in, if I can't do that for you, then um, you know, my deepest apologies for just, uh, perhaps, um, how would you say, <laughs> I guess for perhaps, uh, deceiving you or some shit, but anyway, um, let's go ahead and install a map that I have, that I have already installed, but I believe I can uninstall just by doing something like this. Uh, actually, you know what? Let's just go ahead and install just a new one that I haven't installed quite yet. So let's go to mod maps, uh, mod map suggestions, which is where uh, many of us in the community so far have posted a quite a few uh, amount of um, custom zombie maps that you can download. So. Let's take, for example, perhaps uh, Nazi zombie camp plant. Why not? Sounds cool. Let's save that. It's uh, 72 megabytes. Might worry you just because it's that big, but don't worry. That's only because it's it's a fucking Call of Duty World of War map. I mean, if, if you're not aware of just how big World of War maps are, well, just know that they're pretty big. <laughs> The game itself is pretty big. It's pretty large in and of itself. So just uh, just be aware of that, and don't be worried about the size of it. So anyway, uh, now that we have the executable downloaded, and uh, by the way, um, these files, uh, these links that we get here, they usually come from um, a website known as known as a Call of Duty Repo .com. Unfortunately, the site is down for some reason. Uh, it was working just fine this morning. Uh, we don't know why it's like that right now. I'm guessing they're just having like maintenance issues or some shit. But um, you know, it is it it just is what it is. But anyway, going back to what we were talking about, to install a custom zombies map, you just gotta run the installer. Uh, usually, it's just like a UGX mods map installer. Um, you know, it's typically what it is. If it isn't like that, then, um, if it isn't like that, I'll be sure to make another video about just, um, how to go about installing that. Because usually if it's not like this, it has a certain way, a certain method of an, certain method of installing it. And if that's the case, I'll be sure to go into great detail about how exactly to do it correctly. But in this case, it's just a UGX mods map installer. So it's going to be pretty simple. So let's just go ahead and click next. Uh, this map contained the, the map contained within this uh, installer is the property of its creator, blah, blah, blah. It's really not that important. The name is going to be Nazi zombie camp plant. I agree. And it's, it's, it's finished. It's really just that quick finish. And let's go ahead and open up world of war. Let's go ahead and check our mods. And sure enough, there's Nazi Zombie Camp Plant. Let's go ahead and launch it. And surprisingly, uh, so sometimes um, modification, uh, some uh, modifications or custom maps don't actually give you the option to uh, play the um, map itself solo right from the get go. Usually it's just solo, multiplayer, and cooperative, or, or, or just solo, something else, whatever. It, 
it, it doesn't show this play uh, chemical plant solo um, what you would typically have to do actually is you would have to type in like if you wanted to just play like alone for example you would have to type in either like map or dev map uh, in this case we'll just use map map Nazi since we know the name of it it's Nazi zombie I believe it was chem plant let me go and double check that. Yes, Nazi zombie chem plant. So if you do that, run the command, it'll run just fine. And here we are. Here's the cute little, um, you know, custom map. It's pretty cool, you know. Well, he's not looking pretty... He's not looking too good. Uh, but... <laughs> anyway. So... That just shows you just what... Um, that shows you just what, you, what, you, what you're going to do in the instance that um, the modification doesn't give you the option just right from the get-go to play it solo. Um, but here, it seems like it does. So let's go and try it. And I'm guessing it works just in the same way. Yeah. So nothing special about that. So if we go to cooperative, host online, game setup, uh, the server name doesn't matter. I just named it Otters Playpen. Uh, change the game type to not zombies. Make sure you select the correct map, which is indeed the custom map chemical plant. Hit OK, and now you just need uh, other players to join you, and then you can start the match. Now, obviously, since uh, none of my friends are currently online, uh, I can't really do that and demonstrate it to you, but rest assured that if um, that were the case, the map would work just fine, and uh, it'd be pretty much just what you just saw earlier with me solo, but just, you know, with more than one person. So, anyway. That's all there is to it. With, inst with installing a um, custom, uh, with installing a custom zombies map, it really is just as simple as just running an executable, and um, you know, clicking next, and then just loading the game, clicking on mods, clicking the respective um, um, mod map that you installed, and then just you know, hosting a cooperative match, or running the command. Uh, map space and then the net the name of the map and then enter to play it solo real quick i'm going to go ahead and show you that um just an instance in which a modification doesn't actually give you the option to play it solo just from, right from the get-go so let's go to mods and let's do dread p which is uh, i believe it's dread uh dread place As you can see, you get only solo, cooperative, multiplayer, cooperative, host online, solo, mission select, not zombies, you don't get any of that stuff. No custom, no custom map to be seen. But of course, we are loaded with a uh, mod, otherwise we wouldn't be getting this option launch without mods. So to load it, as I showed you before, you can use dev map or map. This, in this case we'll just use dev map because like why not? Nazi zombie uh, I think it was dread P and there you go. Now you're able to play the map solo. And that's all you have to do. And like I said, it doesn't have to be dev map, it can also be map. So let's just do the same thing again, just to prove my point. Not that anyone is not going to believe me or, certain sh or some shit, but just to kind of like, you know, demonstrate. Nazi zombie, dread, P. No power. 
weak. All right. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much about it. So that's all you really need to know about installing um, custom maps uh, for Call of Duty World of War. Uh, of course, I'm only just showing you just a uh, UGX um, installer. What is it called? UGX uh, mods maps, uh, mods map installers, and not necessarily ones that are just bare bones and ones that you would literally have to like move the files manually uh, yourself. But just rest assured that most of the maps you're going to be downloading off these uh, custom World of War map websites are going to be using the UGX uh, installer. So you don't need to worry too much about like any other you know, expertise in any other field and things in that regard, if that makes any sense. Also, uh, it also went, might be worth to note that T4M is also a thing you might need for certain um, maps. And in order to acquire T4M, you would need to go to a, you would need to go to a website. And I believe it's listed uh, somewhere around here. I can just scroll up. One of my friends actually decided to do that just for me. Here we go. Uh, T4M. Right. So here is the page in which you can download T4M. Unfortunately, you need to register to actually to be to you need to register to the web, to the website to actually be to actually be able to download um, said, uh, you know, modification. But all it really is, is, is it's just a fucking like media fire download. So what I decided to do is I just, uh, I just went ahead, signed up and got the download link for it. And I believe I posted it somewhere around here. Let me see if I can find it. I think it was in useful material. Yeah, here we go. So it's right here, media fire. Uh, let's just put it here just to kind of save it again. So you open it up and you'll see you'll have three files. Uh, this one doesn't really matter, nor does this one. This is really just telling you just like what exactly, um, uh, you know, change log, uh, bugs and issues, uh, the developers, credits, and just how to install it. The installation is really simple. You just fucking replace your COD logo.bmp image and root folder for it to look normal on console. No, oh, okay, I guess it is important. But uh, anyway, so yeah, you just want to be. Uh, this is the main file you want to be like just moving into the uh, Call of Duty World of War uh, root root folder, um, and how to get there is pretty simple. Uh, assuming you, you you're using Steam, just go ahead and go to Properties, go to Local Files, Browse, close out of this, and you'll be able to see your you know the root of your game folder right here and then you would just go ahead and just drag and drop the files right there place and boom you're good to go you now have t4m installed and you're just fine and you don't have to worry about like uh you know like being like unable to play with like other people online and shit like uh not being able to play with people on like official servers or whatever or people who don't have t4m installed you don't have to worry about that. It, it'll work just fine. So just to prove that T4M is, in, is indeed installed, I'll just go ahead and run the game again. I mean, you saw it before with just the terminal, but yeah, there you go. T4M, R45, and yeah, we're good to go. Uh, one other thing I should probably mention is that uh, you really should just go to your game options and enable the console so that way you can actually do all this shit because if you don't well you're kind of not going to be able to do well a lot of the stuff i just showed you <laughs> so anyway 
Having said all that, that's all for me. Um, hopefully that helped you and hopefully that will um, build some confidence in you into actually installing some uh, custom zombie maps because um, over here at the Discord server, we're really looking forward to just, um, you know, finding people to play um, not only just vanilla maps, but also just like some unique, cust uh, u some unique uh, custom zombie maps. But yeah, then again, uh, rather, again, that's all for me. And uh, yeah, I'll see you later.